All right, what's going on, guys? Good morning or good afternoon, where it depends where you're at in the U.S. or around the world. Uh, I want to go over a couple uh, things before the week starts, and uh, I'm going to be re reviewing some charts in this video. I'm going to be uh, reviewing our uh, Apex alert for the week, and I'm also going to be doing... Um, uh, the game plan for next week for the BB Club, and um, giving you guys some uh, some of my ideas and also my thoughts on markets. So let's start off very quickly. Uh, GLD was alerted for our members, and it was a fantastic trade. It was um, it was posted on the fourth of this week, and you know it was a small position. Because I wasn't sure on what was going to happen during uh, FOMC, the Fed was uh, going to speak, and um, it was FOMC minutes actually. So they had a meeting, and they start speaking about inflation. They start speaking about uh, forward guidance, and it mo definitely moves markets. So we did see a nice move uh, upward on the fourth, and obviously we held, we swung the trade, and. Um, some of our members made anywhere from 100% to 100 and, uh, sorry, 100% to 215%. So depending how, how how long you held it, but we do post entries and exits, as you guys know. And here's the trade. We got in on the 4th, and we got a nice uptrend. Started consolidating a little bit, and then at the end we saw this nice little candle here. We had a beautiful gap up. And here's the most interesting thing. I saw this gap up. I alerted the, the exit on it. And I should have known to reverse and buy puts. That way we could have made some more money. But it didn't happen that way. Everything looks better in hindsight. It is what it is. We're moving on. And we're getting ready for the week. That was the trade on GLD this week. Um, this month we have uh, several earnings. We're uh, starting to pick up on uh, earnings season again. So... We usually don't gamble on earnings, depending on how the option moves. But um, for the most part, gambling on earnings is that exactly gambling. And a lot of times here, we don't like to gamble. We like to wait for setups, and we like to trade smart. Um, we're not here to get rich overnight, or we wish, but it doesn't work that way 90% uh, of the time. So we do have a couple uh, events this week. Uh, Powell testifies on Tuesday morning, and uh, obviously we always have uh, important economic uh, events like jobless claims, and we have uh, core retail sales as well on Friday. Usually affects markets. Um, markets seem to be neutral, or at least the fear and greed index mentions that. Um, usually, when it's extremely greedy or extremely uh, too much too much fear, uh, we usually get the opposite move. If there's too much fear, then we start. Uh, rising or if there's a lot of greed then we start dumping so as of right now is neutral uh, game plan is already posted for our members so team go ahead and check that out so let's review some qu charts very quickly uh, GLD like I said we had a beautiful um, gap up on the fourth uh, and we got in over this uh, 50 day moving average bounce and it faded after we sold it, and obviously it got down the following day. Uh, should have bought some puts on it. It's fine. We move on. We don't stress about little things like that. Um, a name that we made uh, plenty of money last week was uh, MU. So I just want to go back and review that. MU, beautiful peg up. Peg up, for those uh, that don't know, I, uh, it's a lesson that I taught for our BB members. Um... And for those that are interested, obviously, we always, always accept new members. So beautiful peg up here. And then uh, you can see the strength. This is the day that I, I call the alert entry and exit. Very nice position. And we uh, it was very profitable, too. So now it's been side trading for a bit. Still holding up that peg up. And so far, so good. Um, I'll be watching MEU as it keeps moving higher. But... It's funny because many of these names, like for example, uh, sorry, uh, not SQ, but Roku. Let's take a look at Roku versus other names. 
and I, I was listening to this podcast by my favorite podcast. Uh, it's called Invest Talk. And they have been talking about growth names and tech not being so hot on, in 2022. And we're starting to see that. We see Roku fading, right? It went from almost 500. Now it's under 200. We have uh, SQ also fading, right? Been fading. All these names that have been growth, all these names that have been related to tech, names that have been hot since 2018 are not so hot anymore, right? Um, AMD has been doing great, but uh, short term it has been doing pretty bad, but long term has been doing great. But look at this, it's starting to fade again. And some of these names, like I said, it's uh, it, it's scary how um, how how they ran up so well, and you know things that run up so well and everyone wants is so bullish, usually doesn't work that way, because if everyone's leaning on one side of the trade and everyone keeps being bullish because it's been rising for so long, it kind of has to make you a little worried about what the future holds, right? If it, things do not go up in a straight line, and we've seen that many 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 times. Uh, beating up na beating up names like PayPal as well, another name. Um, a lot of these furus have been talking about, oh, it's gonna move up. All these chart wizards uh, getting bullish on it. It hasn't done anything, right? It's been stuck in this range, and options traders have been getting killed. And honestly, I personally got killed on one trade on it, but it is what it is. Uh, we don't we never take it personal. We move on. As long as we try to minimize those losses and keep those pro uh, keep those wins higher, uh, long term you'll remain profitable. And um, so PayPal, there's really no setup there. Uh, the chart wizards keep saying that there's a setup. I don't see it. There's nothing going on. But I'm always monitoring it just because uh, it seems like a good name to trade, at least for options, or at least option traders will understand that. Uh, Disney, not really a setup. It had this. Uh, uptrend that I was watching, it kind of dipped under it and it's just been messing around, but it is over the 50 day moving average as of right now. Um, it does have a peg down though, and I usually don't like trading um, short term or long term names that have peg downs and trying to be bullish on them because oftentimes this peg, this peg down uh, causes a huge resistance on it. So, um, not really uh, touching Disney for now. This one, Netflix, wow such an easy trade in hindsight and I should have should have watched this one uh, it should have bounced on the 200 day moving average it didn't it got down and it faded from there on nasty nasty short term move um, definitely I'm not bullish on it uh, but I am watching this uh, this small gap here from 561 or so all the way to 566 so I'll definitely be watching this it is oversold so Netflix might be a trade for next week. Got to keep an eye on it. Uh, Tesla has been a name that uh, many option traders love. And it had a beautiful gap up here. And then it just faded and faded again. It broke the 50-day moving average. Looks to be bearish. It does have a gap to be filled below at 9.42 or so, 9.41. So definitely got to keep an eye on Tesla. Uh, bears might want to um, get a little excited around here because we do have a nice little gap and of course is uh, it's wide open so we'll see it could be a target gonna keep an eye on it uh, let's see if it's not stuck okay there we go uh, another name that we uh, saw last week we saw this uh, this pump and dump I want to say I know the the longs and the bulls don't want to hear it but it was a pump and dump because it did bounce, I mean, sorry, it did gap up overnight on Friday, for, sorry, from Thursday to Friday, and all it did, it just faded. Uh, let's take a look at how that looks on the Discord. Um, this is why you utilize our tools, and, well, of course, I got an error when I'm live. Of course. Let's see, these things are not perfect, but it, it happens. So these are the tools that we have in the BB Discord. And we saw this big gap up, right? And all it did was fade the whole time. And it does look like an inverse head and shoulder uh, setting up. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. But 
these fades are my favorite types of um, trades uh, to use options with and uh, puts in this situation. But when you're an option trader, you have to learn how options work. Not all the options are meant to be taken because you could get IB crushed. And my BB members know what that means because I've taught this lesson so many times. And if you don't, if you're a member, of course, ask in the mentorship program. And I will always, always um, um, answer your questions or review your portfolios. So, of course, we always have the lessons here. We have all this information always available for our members. Uh, so, let's keep moving on. Pump and dump on GME. AMC hasn't done much either. Um, I actually thought it was going to be setting up for a uh, inverse head and shoulder here. So, shoulder, shoulder, and the head here. But look what happened. It just faded. So that was invalidated. I was watching it. Nothing. It's okay. It happens. We still made 40% off AMC last year when many of the, um, I guess you'll say the apes, were uh, talking about a big squeeze coming. We, we got in around uh, the 29 mark. You can see here. And then we sold for 40, uh, 43, 40% uh, around here when we saw this uptrend break. So we did get a nice trade on AMC last year. That was probably possibly one of the only trades that we did with AMC. But uh, we made a pretty good amount of money. Um, a lot of the apes are still holding, a lot of bag holders in this, and a lot of pumpers. So you have to be careful with names like that. Let's take a look at, um, sorry, uh, SLB, silver. I am a long-term silver bull, and I am bullish on silver and precious metals. Uh, going into 2022 and heading into 2023, uh, inflation is picking up very quickly, and I feel that uh, precious metals have been held down, and it might be time to start going long on them if you haven't already done so. Uh, free advice there. Uh, let's see. Let's keep moving on. Um, I was talking about growth names. So we've been seeing all these growth names and all these tech names fade, but look at what's going on with names like T, AT and T. Oversold beating up names are starting to pick up steam. See? So T is around the 100 day moving average currently. I do want to be long this name, but then at the same time, as an investment, it might not work out this year because uh, they are cutting the dividend. So for my dividend uh, investors, it might not be a good trade. But you also have uh, BZ and it's doing similar moves and it's also been beating up pretty bad. You see this downtrend here, beautiful squeeze, and then back test on the 50 day moving average, nice pop, and now it's uh, doing this back test on the 100 day moving average. So, definitely keeping an eye on this one. Uh, long term dividend investors love these names. Um, if you're a long term holder, then of course you're always going to get paid, and if you have capital for it, you're always going to get paid as well uh, through dividends and whatnot. Um, PLTR. Kathy Woods is back holding this with several other names. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any trades on this one. On long term, I do want to buy it because it does seem like a good company, but there's no setup. No setup, no trade for me. So sorry, Bulls. Not for me. At least not for now. Let's see. HD, Home Depot. Kind of looks like a, like a double top here for me. Uh, it did break this 50 day on Friday, so it's a little scary how it's uh, setting up for that double top. Um, it did have a peg up here, so as of now, it's holding. It should hold this peg up. So I'm thinking that maybe we do get a short short term drop on HD, or maybe even a gap down tomorrow. Uh, 381 should be the price where it should bounce. So keep an eye uh, eye on that one as well. Roku has been beating down a lot of these Furus losing money on Ro Roku. Uh, these Furus have been bullish since I don't know how long, but it's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad for them. But of course, they'll never post the losses. Uh, Roku, I've been trying to be long on it too myself, but I never get triggered on it, and it just doesn't look good to me. And um, so I've been trying to avoid it, honestly. But uh, let's take a look. I've been watching it, but avoiding the trades. And last one, just to go over. Um, we had a big move on, what's the name of this uh, stock ticker here? I went blank. I think it's called, I know it's a social media that Trump is uh, bringing out. 
truth, 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 truth. It's called truth, but I don't remember what the name of it is. Da, da, da. Okay, there we go. Oh, D Wack. That's what it is. Sorry. Apologies for that. Should have had it written down. But uh, D Wack, it's a fairly new IPO. I personally don't like new IPOs because there's a lockup period. There is, and for those that don't know what a lockup period is, like I said, my BB members mentorship program um, I have all that information on there. So there's no real setup for it, but it does look like um, it is holding up over very well over the 20-day moving average, and it's a momentum name, so those usually run up pretty well, and it's over the 50-day as well. So it's holding up pretty well. We'll be keeping an, a, uh, an eye out on this name, and it did have a crazy pump on, what was it, Thursday, I believe it was? EWAC. Let's take a look. Of course, BB Tools. Look at this pump. And then it kind of dumped a little bit. So definitely keep an eye on this one. Crazy name. And of course, the king of pumps is behind it. So, um, yeah. And if you guys don't know who that is, that is uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> so I'll definitely be trading next week with you guys. I'll be having one of my members, uh, Jay Royalty, with me. He'll be shadowing me at the BB um, penthouse. So have a good one, guys.